Hi, guys. So I actually looked up the study that these people were talking about, about having more sexual partners before marriage leads to higher divorce. That's basically if it's over one partner ever, there's a big jump. So, you know, it's not like a linear thing. They said that 10 or more is higher, but not even as high as two. So even just having had one prior partner does increase your rate of divorce. Now, for anybody that ever, you know, took statistics or research methods, why might this be the case? Obviously, because they're more religious. They're in, you know, cultures where it's not okay to have premarital sex. That doesn't mean anything about whether these women are having good sex within their marriages. Even if they say that they're happier, which I don't see studies saying that women who are virgins are happier, but even if, let's say, they did, I see many women in my office who are happy in sexless marriages. Many women in sexless marriages had, like, no prior experience, too. They're happy being in a sexless marriage. They say repeatedly, everything's fine in this marriage. I don't know what his problem is, right? I don't know why he wants more sex. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm happy. I'm happily married. I have kids. This is everything I was supposed to do. Why is he complaining that we have no sex? And, like, she's got a point. Because if she never had sex before marriage, how the hell is it fair for him to think she ought to start having sex after marriage? Because obviously, it wasn't a big part of who she was. And she was trained to be sex negative, and she's just doing what she was told. Now, as to why men would want somebody who will never leave them and never consider divorce, think about it like this. If you hired somebody to, you know, be, let's say, whatever you do for work, if you hired somebody with a better resume right? Who had more confidence, who went to a better school, let's say, too. And send me a like if you're watching this. Wouldn't that person have more options? Wouldn't they be likelier to leave your job? Yeah, they would. But I'll tell you, if I hired, like, let's say a nanny for my kids, I would most definitely want somebody who had a lot of options, you know, who had a lot of experience being a nanny. Because even though that person may leave for a better job, they're also going to be a better nanny. So this the, the guys that will sacrifice knowing that somebody is good and at sex and like sex for somebody who they think maybe, maybe won't leave, won't leave, please don't let them leave, those people are very insecure. It's kind of like a Joe from you sort of vibe or the book The Collector. There's plenty of these tropes in literature, right? The guy who wants the woman to have no other options because otherwise he's scared that he won't be able to keep her. It's certainly true that having prior experience vis-a-vis -vis it being a proxy variable for being less religious is definitely going to be linked to higher divorce rates. Also, those women know that there are options. Knowing that there are options is not a bad thing for a human being, right? You also want your wife to be a human being, right? And so if she thinks that you're the only option, then it kind of turns into the, you know, the, the, the prison experiment, right? <laughs> I mean, she doesn't think she has any other options. That's not a good thing. She doesn't think she could get out of a bad marriage, so she better be happy in it. You know, it, it's not... Also, all the guys who talk about wanting a woman with less experience, and again, send me a like if you're watching, they all liked their experiences. They wouldn't trade their prior sexual experiences for anything in the world. And the men that I've worked with that are late bloomers are massively depressed about their lack of prior sexual experiences. Even if they're happily married, they think about this so much because it's like a, a big part of life, you know, to explore yourself, your body, your sexuality when you're young. This is like a thing. People constantly in my office show up regretting experiences that they didn't have, sex not had, people not dated. People don't tend to regret things that they do as much as things that they don't do, and that's a known psychological phenomenon. So if you are with, so another thing that's so interesting is the guys who are saying it's not special if a woman's had sex before with other people, if she does it a lot, it's not special. So then like, why would she want to do it a lot with marriage? So then when they say it would only be special if we have sex once a month, they're like, oh no, no, we should do it, you know, every day, multiple times a week. Either something's more special the less you do it or not. Let's be consistent. 
it doesn't make any sense. There's no consistency with any of it because it's not the same standards for men and women. It's not the same standards for within, you know, with one person somehow. It's not supposed to get boring. But, like, with multiple people, then she gets a I don't anybody talking about. I, I challenge you to find a man who says that um, having a lot of uh, fun sexual experiences is not something that he regrets. You know what? Women are people, too. So they also think that. You know? And, of course, the more you do something, the better you get at it, the more comfortable you are with it. And if men want to have an interesting, exciting, exploratory sex life after marriage, you want to get somebody who's sex positive to marry. Somebody like that will have wanted to explore her body and, you know, her sexuality. And so the people that I see who struggle the very most with sex within marriage are people who had very limited experience prior. So anyway, that is my thoughts on all of that. And do send me a like if you're watching. And I just wanted to summarize that because it is something that I see related to very, very unhappy sexless marriages is just people that married somebody who had no experience and then they were just hoping that magically this woman would transform. It's not going to happen, you know? So think about it.